Sorry I haven't made a video for a while. Uh, I've been doing the uh, least fun part of this build, at least to me and many others, which is sanding and filling imperfections and priming and sanding and filling and priming and sanding and sanding and filling and sanding and etc. Uh, but I have been doing a decent amount of it. We got good weather recently and it almost looks like a black and white video. Everything's apart from a few bits of colored filament or white and black here. Uh, there are shades of gray. So yeah, um, we'll start with these. These are the booster covers for his legs. Um, filler pretty much over every inch, except uh, this little bit in here, this center channel. I didn't uh, put any filler material, so the rest of it has got um, a coat of filler material on it. Uh, so sand it first, then filler, then primed, and then I'll be sanding the primer to see what imperfections are there and need more filler. Um, the reason I didn't do just this center channel here is because they go on the foot like that, and then the booster piece goes in the middle, and you're not even going to see in there. And sanding that, the angles is just... I just considered it to be too much of a time sink for too little value. Um, everything else I sanded and put filler on. Now I know it's not perfect because uh, I'm using the glazing putty and I could tell when I was putting it on and sanding it off that there were areas that were going to need additional work, but that's everything is, is not going to be perfect on the first go round. So these two pieces were printed and then filler and then primed battery boxes. Um, I've got little pieces of tape over the holes that have threads that the knurled bits go in that hold the hoses that connect to the foot. Um, these have been, were the first pieces that I primed first before doing any filler. Uh, what I had been doing is putting the filler on the sanded, sanding first, then putting the filler to fill in the layer lines and then priming. And I do tend to like that better, but I decided on the battery boxes to give it a try just priming first and then filler. And yeah, I've determined that I like it the other way around better. Um, so these have had a coat of primer and then some filler material and then a second coat of primer. So these currently need to be sanded. These currently need to be sanded. The horseshoes, uh, I did filler, sanded for, again, sanded first. Then I put filler material all along the sides, all over the top. Even went inside, not the, not the bottom of these pieces, but the inside walls of these three inset pieces per horseshoe I put the glazing putty in and then sanded smoothish because again there's going to be buttons round buttons in these square holes and you're probably not even going to be able to see the edges but I just figured uh, you know I, I might as well go ahead and try and I'm not going to try and make them perfect perfect but make them better than seeing obvious print lines um, same thing with this one. There's the big piece that goes in this channel. That's what the holes are for in each of these. Uh, you can use filament in the hole and then filament in the piece that goes into the slot and it helps align it and helps you glue it in place. So yeah, the insides of this had heavy layer lines so I went with a coat of the glazing putty and then sanded it smooth before I primed. So. These are ready to be sanded. The legs, I keep thinking that they're done and then I go over it and I see something I want to fix and I'm finally about to the point where I'm realizing why am I doing this? 
there'll be like a little tiny pinhole somewhere and it's like it, there's no way you're even going to see that and if you did it, you know it's it's just going to be like an imperfection in the paint and because these are going to have paint over them that'll probably even fill any small pinholes so why am i spending time trying to fill little pinholes when they're not going to be noticeable so most of the pinholes are filled um, the areas that you're going to be able to see um, are primed and have gone over with putty and several times and so these i'm hoping are now ready to be final sanded before painting um, all this other stuff is going to need more more filler and more priming and more sanding these legs i'm hoping that this coat of primer might be the last one um, the last thing i worked on i did some work on these inset lines um, i'm not going to tilt it up so you can really see it but inside the the lines you could see uh, print layers individual strands of filament and i was like how in the heck am i going to get that done i don't want to fill the whole channel with filler and then sand it smooth so what i ended up doing was I took uh, a small piece of cardboard and some of the spray primer outside with the leg and I sprayed some of the primer on the cardboard use a small brush like if you're painting you know a plastic model or something just a cheap small brush and I painted the uh, primer filler inside there and did several coats until the primer filler built up to hide those layer lines um, it ended up working really good the only issue is that it's not quite as clean as far as the sharpness of the uh, line because as it goes down it's gonna go like this a bit because I put several coats of primer in the bottom with the brush so it kind of it'll naturally kind of like pool so I'll probably end up sanding that a bit through the slot and hopefully that's not gonna mess it up enough where I need to reprime it but if it does I should just be able to reprime the area around uh, those insets uh, one of my earlier videos I said that the ankle bracelet goes around that slot that is not true this area that's not painted goes into the ankle and then the ankle bracelet piece is a piece that that slides up over the leg it's uh well it's not a circle but it's got an opening rectangular opening that fits up over uh, the leg here and then the ankle goes on and it sits on the ankle and it sits down here where the top of the ankle is not up here so once I realized that I needed to look at look at a few more pictures of R2-D2 because it had been a while since I had uh, done work on these legs, I realized, oh yeah, that's wrong. This is going to be a visible a visible uh, indentation thing there, recessed area. So I got to make that look better than it did. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully that needs just one more go with sanding and and can get color which at this point it would be the first thing to receive color because all I've done so far is the priming sanding and filling so it's kind of going to be a milestone when I actually lay some colored paint on something um, here are the foot shells this one up the foot shells are kind of a combination like I said, um, I, I like going over pieces with the glazing putty filler or the two-part Bondo, whichever I think is going to be required to make it smoother before I prime. Um, these shells, I basically only did that where pieces, um, separate pieces, are glued together. So this part of the foot shell here is a separate piece than this. There's a seam right down here. So I did some work to try and get that seam um, hidden, which, I don't know, looking through the camera there, looks like I did a fairly good job on, on this one at least. 
um, but the rest the rest of it does not have filler so you can see right here there's an obvious indentation that's going to need some filler just a line that goes across print artifact um, I did also this these top areas I did glazing putty um, filler material because they have really deep layer lines because this part prints I've said it before prints upside down and then there's a support structure that prints from the bed which would be at this level to here and then this is on top of it so it doesn't have a perfect first layer because it's printing on top of support material and the support material is meant to be removed so those were some pretty heavy lines so I went in there with uh, with the uh, Bondo glazing putty filler and did a fairly good job of making that flat probably not perfect again but it's it was the first go around what I wanted to do is just mainly get as much as I could in as good a shape as I could before priming knowing that I was probably gonna have to do some more work um, I need to figure out where the battery boxes, the battery boxes go in these pieces here. And these holes here are filled with battery boxes, but they only come a certain amount out. So I need to figure that out because you can see right here, you can, with the shadows, you can see the layer lines. I might not have to fill that if it's covered by the battery boxes. When the battery boxes are on, there is no point in spending a bunch of time trying to get that perfect again so I'll need to um, do my first coat of sanding of the Bondo to see where I'm at and then look at the battery boxes see where they go so I know what I don't really need to get perfect um, here's another seam you can see here where I kind of welded that part together plastic welded it together because the insert goes there held in with um, magnets which you might be able to see there two round spots to the right of the uh, weld marks those are magnets that hold the insert in so once you get below the insert it needs to look nice and there was a seam there and it looks like I did a fair job on my first try there with the filler material it's not too bad um, between this foot and the other foot there are, are some areas that took more work than I liked weren't quite perfect and so they're they're probably going to need some more filler material to get them where I really want them to be but the main thing is that I've done I've got them all glued together and I've got some filling done and I've got my first coat of primer so again need to be sanded 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 um, more filler more filler more filler same with the foot shells uh, so lots of work left on these pieces the legs hopefully just kind of do a final sanding and see what that inset looks like and I might be ready to paint then we move to the big thing, the big thing. I just last night glued ring one to ring two. My seams, not that good. <laughs> um, they're not horrible, but they're not that good. So realized my kind of a mistake. Um, I had this piece pretty much perfect, ready to go. It just had a little bit of work and then I which I did and then I sprayed a final coat of primer on it not realizing or forgetting that I'm gonna have to fill the seams where the two parts come together so yeah uh, if there were just you know little insert just little parts where you could see the two parts had glue in them then maybe it wouldn't be so bad and I could have put it over the Bondo but I ended up with pieces that were um, tended to be this bottom piece where they were 
it's too far out and there's nothing you can do but sand it or you're gonna have to put a ton of filler material on the upper part and kind of make it thick and then f um, taper in to make the two pieces line up and but that's just you're gonna be able to see that the amount that some of these seams were off so I just went around and got the seams really close so that now I can come back with some filler material and it won't be that much of a transition between the two um, so the eye probably hopefully won't even notice it um, I did have two big issues with it issue number one marked by blue tape I did not glue this um, I used JB Weld plastic bond to glue these two parts together, but two pieces I did not. This is one. This piece, I don't know if you can see from the shadows, this piece sticks out too far and it's too far to the left. And I can't hold it in place and where it should be and glue it. It's not that far off, but because it's on an edge, I want that edge to be straight and it's overhanging enough that it really does need to be pushed back so it's not overhanging as much as it is. Um, I glued up to about here and then started gluing again over here. There's nothing in here that you can glue. So between here and here there's no glue. So what I'm going to do probably get uh, a friend to come over to help me because I need too many hands to do this is have him kind of get this fairly lined up where it seems pretty flush and then I'll go over it with my soldering iron and plastic weld it together and because that it's not that far off I think once I go over it with the soldering iron horizontally which will bond the two pieces together and then fill it with filler he should be able to let go and it should be fine and then I'll come in and do this this side here also um, I'll have to sand all that back down but that'll get that held in place and then I'll go on the inside of the body and do the same thing on the inside and so hopefully that'll be enough to hold that piece where it is. Now if we continue on, again, quite a bit of sanding to get these level. And this one's a little bit, this is a little bit high still in this corner, but I think it's, it's just a little bit in that corner. I think filler will be no problem, and then it's, it feels pretty good uh, the rest of the way over. This was the next problem, the big problem. This one, you can probably see, this piece is too far forward. This piece is too far to the left. So this needs to be moved to the right and pulled out. Not only that, when I do that, I probably can't do this with one hand so you can see it, but the triangle piece here of this octagonal port angled piece there is sticking too far forward so this this is too far forward this well this is well this is actually about where it should be and this is too far back and the seam is off the seam is off enough that it's going to bug the crap out of me if I don't do something to fix it so I, what I did try, I took a heat gun on low and I kind of, I heated it up down here at the bottom area and thought, well, maybe if I can just give it a, heat it up, make it a little bit soft and give it a tweak, but it didn't seem to do anything. And I was worried that I was going to damage. And after gluing it together, well, that was actually before I glued it together, but I didn't want to reprint the entire base if I screwed it up. Or have to use a ton of filler material so this one I plan to do the same thing as the other one have a friend come over it's gonna be harder and then I, I need to figure out if I'm going to 
plastic weld this triangle. In fact, that might be what I do. Just have him try and shove this over so the seam is aligned. And then pl maybe plastic weld this piece. And hopefully when he lets go, <laughs> it's, it'll hold. And then go over here and yeah, I don't I don't really know. It's it's going to be a mess either way cuz yeah, if I if I just pull this out so that this part is lined up, you can see that's a fair amount that that's off. So the other option is plastic welding this piece. So pull it out, just weld to the left of the seam and then just sand the crap out of that to make that match up with uh, the top. So, yeah, I guess that's not too bad. Like I said, continuing around, um, I went over this with some 80 grit sandpaper. All the other seams, this one's got, this one just seems really low on this upper piece. Like this needs filler to get it to the height of this but again I'll be putting um, the reason that I another reason why I took this down to plastic is I'm going to use the two-part uh, Bondo body filler it's a stronger material and I'd rather it stick to plastic than primer um, I think it, it will adhere better to the rough 80 grit sanded plastic than it will to primer material. I, I could be wrong, but that's just my theory. So yeah, I'll be putting the two-part body filler on all these seams. And there's the other one of these, which again, this was sticking too much out. So after sanding, it's much, much better. This one's pretty darn good. Let me get over to the front again and, and we're okay. So, yeah, and then when I do those, the plastic welding, I'd also like to do in the back. Um, this one here is where I have the piece of tape. And you can see I can't get in there to plastic weld in there. The soldering iron isn't going to fit in there. Um, it will right here. In fact, you can see how this is sticking too far forward. This is sticking in. So that's that piece it needs to be pushed back so it's more in line like that. Um, so I can I can do that a little bit there, but I can't do in that corner. Now, the greebles go in these little boxes and bolt in. So it might be a case where I can remove this corner of this box and plastic weld and the thing that goes in here will still be fine. Um, but we'll have to see. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, my phone just told me that it's getting too hot video may be, quality may be affected. Um, our weather is supposed to be weather breaking for all time in the next three days. Up in the Pacific Northwest, over 100 degrees. So I am pretty much done with this, apart from my work shift starts this weekend. So hopefully things will cool down a bit quicker so I can start working with the two-part Bondo because that stuff will dry in about two minutes in these temperatures. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video to show that I have been really busy, but haven't really thought about making a video because it's the boring part. It's the, you know, they've been, these parts have been printed for a while, and now I'm just sanding, filling, priming, sanding, filling over and over and over again. So, but now that I've got this many that I've been working on over the past couple weeks, I thought I'd, that was good enough to, to make a video, so... That's what I'm doing. That's my progress. Uh, oh, I've come up with a goal. 
Uh, my goal is this summer I would love to get the body, not any of the greebles that go in the slots or the doors or anything else, just to be able to get the body, all three rings, glued together, seams covered up, and primed and painted white. With the uh, second part of the goal, to get the legs painted white, as well as the horseshoes and get uh, the booster covers painted blue. And then stretch goal, if I could get the ankles, which I haven't even started on. I mean, they're printed, but I haven't done any sanding or filling or priming. Get the ankles done, the battery boxes, and the um, foot shells done. So I basically have complete uh, leg and foot assemblies and a complete body. If I get that done this summer, I will be overjoyed. But as I said, I have not yet painted a single thing in white. But hopefully, hopefully the legs will be ready for that soon. Uh, that's it for this video. Back up and get everything shot there.